Okay, so today we're going to be going over the installation of our Sandin AC accessory drive kit. So over here on the table we have the main components of the Sandin drive set out. You have your front plate, your rear plate, and your rear compressor support. It's going to come with all the hardware you need, as well as uh, the two idlers that are used for installation. So this kit is going to be set up to use a truck style um, GM alternator. Um, it also fits f potty spacing. Our recommendation is a 200 or 220 amp version um, to keep up with the demands of the car as it requires a minimum of 180 amps. You're also going to use a Sandin 508 style compressor. Um, this has the side outlets and this is the style that you need. It's going to be mounted in this orientation in the car and we'll go over that once we get it on the motor. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our compressor mounted to the front plate. It's going to be mounted with three 316 spacers, three bolts and nuts that are included in the kit. You're going to want to install this with the ports facing to the right. So this will be facing the frame rail in the car. Three spacers go on the pump in this location. Front plate goes on to the AC compressor with the spacers between the back of the front plate and the compressor. started all right now this assembly can stand up so you're going to have the fittings facing to the right this is for installation later in the car one thing you're going to want to take note is that the power steering pump that bolts here which is the bmw factory power steering pump has a fitting that comes out and is very tight between the compressor and here this is the lower banjo bolt so you want to make sure that you have this line oriented correctly in the car so you'll be able to bolt the compressor on here beforehand. You will not be able to remove this banjo bolt once the AC compressor is installed. There may be slight uh, bending required for this line to go down and around the compressor. So for your installation, depending on which chassis you have, different power steering lines, you may need to modify this line, slight bends, but everything else should work just fine. The next thing we're going to do is mount our rear compressor bracket. This is going to get mounted in this orientation on the compressor with two bolts and two nuts that are included. Again, do not tighten these all the way up yet. We'll want them loose in the car so we can install it. So now once you have your rear compressor bracket, now we can go ahead and put this into the car. We're going to mount it to the cylinder head using just two bolts. This is Corvette spacing. So your spacers may be different depending on which kit that you purchased. Refer to the diagram in the product description. Corvette spacing has two inch spacers and a quarter inch spacer behind it. I'm going to take this and get it mounted up to the cylinder head. And again, we want to leave all of this stuff loose until we get all the hardware in place. So let's go in a little bit, leave this loose. Mount the, and we go ahead and use the small M8 bolt, which will mount the rear compressor bracket into the block. Get that started. Again, leave this loose for now. Now at this point in the chassis, you're gonna go ahead and get your power steering pump up in location. The lines will clear. Again, you'll have to modify this lower line by bending it to go around the compressor, but it'll fit right in this location. It's mounted using the three M8 bolts and three half inch spacers. These half inch spacers go between the back of the plate and the power steering pump to correctly align the belt. In our case, we're gonna go ahead and mount the rear alternator bracket. Again, using the same bolts and hardware. This is a two inch spacer, two inch spacer, and the rear alternator bracket. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and mount our alternator. It's important to note on this alternator, 
The alternator grounds through the body of the connection. On a typical aluminum mount, it's gonna ground right through here. So you have two options here. You can either grind the powder coat on the back of these brackets and add a ground strap here. Or if your alternator has a ground lug, you can attach a ground lug directly to the alternator and go to the cylinder head or the block. But be sure you have a good ground uh, to your alternator connection. That started again right here is where you could add a ground strap. Okay, now once we have everything on here, there's only one lower mounting bolt left. So in this case, we're using again the same length spacer for the Corvette kit and two spacers. This goes into the block um, tap hole right here at the bottom. And this is why you wanted to leave everything loose so you can get everything lined up before you cinch everything down. Go ahead and snug these up. Okay, so at this point you'll have your alternator your power steering pump, your AC compressor mounted. All that's missing are the two idler pulleys. So, two idler pulleys included in the kit. Make sure the step spacer goes on the front side. Bolt and spacer in the kit. Spacer goes on the back side. That one's starting. Second one again. Oh, space around the back side. This one started. Tighten these up. That's going to wrap up the installation of the low side sand in AC compressor accessory drive we sell. Everything is mounted other than the power steering pump, which you would do in the car.